Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. It seems like it's been a long time since we talked about celebrities, so let's talk about it. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite have a huge agenda for all of us. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. New Demon Woman is statue installed at the Manhattan Courthouse. This is an excerpt from Ray Nayer, Hyperallergic.com. Last week, the Madison Square Park Conservancy unveiled its latest commission, Shazia Sikander's three-part installation, Hava, to breathe, air, life. The Pakistani-American artist, best known for her painting practice that encapsulates the essence of Indo-Persian miniature works through a feminist lens, translated her specific skill sets across material and scale, to also introduce the first female subject upon the ten plinths of the Manhattan Appellate Courthouse's rooftop, across the street from the park. There are other female figures elsewhere on the building. Now, 2023, the eight-foot sculpture of a female figure emerging from a lotus blossom stands out glinting in yellow bronze amongst her nine stone-carved historical male associates, including Confucius, Justinian, Lycurgus, Moses, and Zoroaster. A statue of Islam's Prophet Muhammad was also part of the lineup until it was removed in 1955. With gnarled tentacular roots in place of arms and feet, and parted hair twisted into spiraling ram horns, the figure assumes a fluid autonomous energy rooted in natural and mystical power. Women in my work are always complex, proactive, confident, intelligent, and in their playful stances connected to the past in imaginative ways, without being tied to a heteronormative lineage, or conventional representations of diaspora and nation. Sikander said in her artist statement for the installation, co-commissioned with the Public Art University of Houston system. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Paris Hilton, Gigi Hadid and Naomi Campbell, and many more, all one eye with childhood pictures of themselves in Boss Campaign yesterday. The fashion house unveiled the new campaign on social media on Thursday, while sharing several of the striking portraits to its own social media accounts. Paris opted to represent the fashion house in her photo, via a navy blue hoodie that she wore which featured Boss and block letters on her chest that were enlivened with brown, white and black stripes. Gigi Hadid was another high-profile star joining the Boss campaign. She appeared to wearing a plunging black blazer without a shirt and covered her eye, as did all the other famous faces, with her throwback photo. Naomi Campbell. Demi Lovato. Bella Thorne. Christina Ricci. Candace Wannapel. The former Nickelodeon star, Victoria, also poses with one eye. Riverdale star, Charles Melton, is also seen wearing the same shirt and the same boring pose. DJ Haley rounded out some of the celebrity portraits with a simple white boss hoodie. Unlike some of the other stars who posted photos of themselves as children, he appeared to be a teen in the picture, which showed him wearing a black tuxedo. What do you think? Speaking of the one-eye sign, it was everywhere this month, and it was ridiculously blatant. Here are some examples. Actress Jordan Jones, one eye, noticed the pizza reference pic. Jordan Jones was born on 13 March 2000 in Kalamazoo, Michigan, USA. She is an actress, known for Todrick Hall Freaks Like Me, 2014, Shake It Up, 2010, and Dance Camp, 2016. 
This is Turkish Bank Ads, Hawkbank, and, and take a look at the frame they chose as the video thumbnail. Hawkbank is a Turkish state-owned bank that has been embroiled in a legal scandal in the United States. In October 2019, the U.S. Department of Justice indicted Hawkbank on charges of participating in a multi-billion dollar scheme to evade U.S. sanctions on Iran, including money laundering and bank fraud. This is actress Michelle Yeoh on the cover of LUSA. Look closely at that picture. Yeo does a one-eye sign using an all-seeing eye. Also, there are two extra eyes. She's literally covered in eyes. The message is, they own her. This is Ryan Reynolds in a pic promoting the movie Spirited. As you can see, the mic is very cleverly placed to hide one eye. Will Ferrell's eye is also covered to make sure you understand that this is all about the one eye sign. In short, to promote a Christmas movie on Apple TV, three movie stars did a one eye sign. Those behind the movie are mean, spirited. Madonna has one eye covered by her adopted son. The caption is, The Enlightenment. Newsflash, nobody's enlightened in this pic. Especially not Madonna who is slowly turning into a Cabbage Patch Kid. The Pirelli calendar is considered by some to be the most prestigious calendar in the world. While, for decades, it was all about glamour shots of A-list models, recent editions focused on pushing agenda and narratives. Like everything else in pop culture, the fun is gone. The 2023 Pirelli calendar revolves around the concept of magical realism, where each celebrity model plays the role of a muse. And it's all very symbolic. This pic is titled The Photographer, and everything about it screams out witchcraft. Coincidentally enough, magical realism is a great way of defining witchcraft. On the right, the black veil thing makes a one-eye sign. That's because this calendar is now under the control of the occult elite. According to the photographer, Bella Hadid plays the role of the sprite, a mythological fairy. With that being said, this also looks like a horned scantily clad woman, impersonating a crucified Jesus. Was this done on purpose? Anyway, as explained in the video about her occult birthday party, Doha Cat is in the humiliation phase of her career. Her recent photo shoot with Days Magazine continues that trend. Everything about this picture makes her look bad on purpose and strips away from her dignity. Furthermore, the choker, the bleached shaved hair, the dualistic bracelets, and the see-through dress allude to beta kitten programming. Here, Doha ingeniously uses her hands to make horns on her head. This is very innovative, I've never seen anyone do this before. This is Nicki Minaj in the royalty issue of ID magazine. As you can see, she's also doing devil horns with her hands. Such innovation. With that being said, who's truly the royalty that is celebrated in that picture? In this pic, she does the one eye sign, confirming that this royalty issue should really be called slavery. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.